Welcome back to NASCAR 07. Right now, I'm about to do race 23 36. Four races left before the chase. I'm here at Michigan International Speedway here in Brooklyn, Michigan for the running of the GFS Marketplace 400. And on the starting lineup, I start six. On the pole is Jimmy Johnson. Uh, after my 10th place finish at uh, Watkins Glen, I am still third in points, but 143 points back. But yet, with four races left to go in the chase, I'm basically like 400 points ahead of 10th. So or for the chase cutoff, so I'm probably most likely in good shape to make the chase, so I'm thinking about in these final four races before the chase, I'm thinking about taking it easy, not be so aggressive because I want to make sure I save my spot for the chase, but I still want to go for the win though, so today I'm going for my sixth win of the season, and uh, last time I was here in Michigan, I finished 10th, we'll see if I uh, can uh, make it win number six today. Uh, the assist is off. Here we go, green flags out, we are underway here at Michigan. Tell you what, I was just getting blasted on the inside, and all of a sudden, got sideways off turn two, came down on Sterling Marlin, and now I'm caught behind this guy's draft. And I'm going up in the wall. Hmm. Wow, but I do have a run up here. Holy crap! Oh damn! I tried to get. All right, can I get to the bottom, please? That'd be great. Oh my gosh! Come on, car! I'm trying to take it easy, and yet the car just wanted to go sideways on me. Alright, so I dropped basically seven spots. I went back to 13th. It's not good. Now I'm trying to get back in the top 10. I said, I'm going to try to take it easy today. And not be too aggressive, because like I said, I don't want any more bad finishes. Hopefully not. But if I do have a bad finish, then it's all on me. I mean, granted, I still want to go for the win if I'm in the if I'm in that situation. But uh, you know, but if I'm not competing for the win, if there's no way I'm going to be up there competing for the win, might as well not risk it and have a bad finish. Gosh, car! I wish my car would turn. It's so tight. I'm sliding into people. Now I'm up to ninth, and now Kurt Busch is trying to pass me on the inside. I'm not going to allow that, unless if I make this a mistake here. Mmm! Come on, get off Mark Martin! And now him and I are rivals. Great. Don't want that. Don't want too much rivals. Especially, you don't hear Mark Martin get pissed off, so, uh... I don't want to start that trend of Mark Martin getting mad at me. Oh, man! Got a great bow for the lead up there, or at least for the top spot, and I'm going in the wall. Great. Oh. I'm catching those guys up ahead of me, though, unless they're falling back from Jimmy Johnson. Uh, 20 laps to go. Jimmy Johnson leads. Jimmy Johnson was the winner at Watkins Glen. After finishing five laps down in last at Indianapolis. Oh my gosh, car, turn. Please. Pray him for a nice handling race car, but that's not happening. Oh, I'm going on the wall again. Mm. Passing Tony Stewart right now. Try to get up to the eighth spot. Remember early on in this race, uh, back in the back the last time I raced here at Michigan I didn't do so good but yet I ended up with a top 10 finish luckily too because I was running 13th going into turn number three on the coming to the checkered flag and I believe if I remember it was Casey Kane that got sideways and checked up the field and I just had the uh, the door was open for me to take 12th 11th and 10th oh my gosh please turn car Jeff Gordon 
to the race lead, and now Tony Stewart's underneath me. Great. Can I clear him? Maybe? Mmm... Maybe. Okay, I did. Ah! Got sideways going in the corner, and that's what got Tony Stewart underneath me again. Mmm, man, I tell you what, I am not like... Oh my goodness, almost came down on Kurt Busch. I'm not liking the handle of this race car at all. you by right, give me the room I mean I'm still hanging solid solidly in the top 10 for now oh come on please car oh why hmm I'm gonna make Tony Stewart mad if I keep doing that I'm not trying to hit anyone it's just the car I do not like it at all Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! And I said I was gonna take it easy. I'm trying to. I'm trying to take it easy in this race, but I don't know. It's probably me. It's not, most likely me that's being uh, a, uh, not driving good. But uh, you know, I mean, I've had this same issue the last time I was here in Michigan, just not doing really good at the beginning. And I can't stay off the outside wall, too. That's what's really killing me, too. Alright. I'm gonna check up so I don't hit Tony Stewart. And I messed up my entry. Because I was all the way at the bottom of the racetrack. When I went in the corner. Won't be surprised if Kurt Busch blocks me here. Or, wow, I am surprised he didn't block me. I'm gonna pit on lap 12 or something. Ryan Newman is now the race leader. Ah, see, now it just, oh, it's tight in the middle of the corner, too. Like, it will stick to the bottom sometimes, and then it will just go up the racetrack. Dale Nye Jr. now the race leader. And Kurt Busch comes down in front of me, and now I'm going up in the wall. Ah, wow, I hit that extremely hard. Harder than I expected. Wow, I can't, I'm still passing Kurt Busch, though. <laughs> That's one way to pass someone. Wow, look at this huge run I have on Tony Stewart, though. Mmm. Yep, I think me and Tony Stewart are going to be rivals now. Alright, got by Tony Stewart, maybe. Wow, Kyle Busch is here now. Alright, you know what? Since I'm solidly... Uh, since I'm going to make the chase for sure, and I'm going to go in the wall again, I might as well just gamble the rest of these regular races. Alright, here come. Oh, uh, no. Alright, let me go back up the racetrack so I don't mess up my entry. Alright, I'm gonna pit this lap. You know what? I mean, I'm gonna make the chase, no doubt about it. How about if I take gambles? Oh, man. Well, if I don't do that, though. I mean, yep. <laughs> Well, that's... <laughs> I mean, I will take a gamble, just don't... I just... not like that, though. Whoops, I didn't see Kirk Bush there. Man, two great replays to show. Oh, wow. Alright, well, the good news is that everyone's going to pit. So, yeah, I'll pit. Yes. So, you know what? The good news is everyone's going to pit. Now, I'm going to take... Uh, no, I spun out. Should I take the gamble since all my tires are worn? I don't know how bad my tires are. Alright, you know what? Risk time. It's gamble time. We, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I, I, I don't, not, I'm not sure why I'm going to do it, especially at this racetrack, but you know what? I mean, I'm going to make the chase anyway. Let's just make it fun, the final four races. Next race is going to be Bristol. I'm going to make it fun there. And then California Speedway. And then, uh, Richmond. I'm going to try... Oh, ah! Not... Go! Not going to grab the race lead. Cuts! 
son of a gun! You stupid crew! I could have had the lead! Gosh, the left front, uh, the t front tire changer. Mmm. I did gain five spots though. No, four. So I was a knife. Gosh, my pit crew sucks. Alright, I got right side tires all freshed up. Got Bobby Levine behind me. Greg Biffle leads on the restart with uh, eight, uh, no, nine laps to go. Man, those guys took off. Alright, now let's see how bad these two tires are going to be. I could have had a race lead, though. Damn it! And I'm going to hit the wall, huh? Alright, maybe not. Gosh, get off of Bobby Levine. All right, trying to get back in the top five here. Eight laps to go. Elliot Sadler is the race leader. Oh, man, look at how, man, I held the bottom of the racetrack that time pretty good. Got a good runoff turn two. Man, that's the first time I think I held the bottom lane that good. How long would that last, though? I'm tight this time. I believe Bobby O'Brien's going to be underneath me. Nope. No, I'm still ahead of him. In the top five, though. Car. Oh man! Goodness, this is gonna be fun. The final six laps coming up. Oh, I hit that safer barrier! What a save! Holy sh Wow! Alright, now that was on purpose, and there I go. Oh, I'm going around. Thanks, JJ Yelly. I forgot him and I are rivals after uh, what happened at Pocono. He just turned me on purpose, and then I couldn't control the race car. Thanks, Yearly. And now me and Jeremy Mayfield are going to be rivals. I don't know about me and Jeff Gordon. I hit Jeff Gordon pretty good, too. Oh, man. Yeah, I was running good. I was solidly doing good with two tires, and now I think my tires are going to be shot. Uh, no, I, I'm not going to pit now. I want to I wanna have a good finish, hopefully. Thanks, Yearly, you dick. Yeah, if you saw what happened at Pocono, it happened on the final lap, you understand why J.J. Yelly's pissed off at me. All right, three laps to go. Can I hold on for a top ten spot? Those guys are going to pull away from me ahead. I might as well just hold on. I think Jeff Gordon's going to be on my outside. I don't know if me and Jeff Gordon are rivals now. I don't... Oh, yeah, Yelly's going to try to turn me. What a dick, man. What an absolute dick. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm about to wreck myself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I suck. What the hell is happening all of a sudden? Mmm, well, it was turning out good. I, looks like it was going to turn out for me having uh, at least a top 10 finish, but uh, no, not going to happen now. I mean, I'm still solidly going to make the chase. Joseph, just calm down. Well, I mean... Oh my gosh, I'm going to be all the way back here. Screw that. Look at this. 18th? Oh yeah, me and Mark Martin are rivals now, I forgot. All right. Gosh, why? Yeah, they're going to blow right on by me. Yaley's a dick. No talented dick. Oh. I mean, granted, I did become rivals with him at Pocono. But, I mean, come on. It's It was, like, how many races ago? Uh, oh, my gosh. Ugh. That was, like, three races ago. Get over it, right? All right. I somehow held off. For... All right, but I have one more lap. Can I at least hold on? for a top 20 finish. White flag is out. Final lap here at Michigan. Elliott Sadler leads. 
And I would do that. Alright, dive bomb. Wow! Wow! Oh uh oh! Oh no! Ow! <laughs> Alright, one more time. Down the back straight away for the final time. Alright. Alright, watch this. Remember I said I'm gonna make it fun? Watch this. Alright, let's see if this will work. Not gonna work. Oh, maybe it will! I gotta run on them! 17th? Nah, it's not gonna work. I did close in, though. <laughs> it didn't work. Ah, uh, whatever. Gosh, man. What looked promising to at least have a top 10 finish just went down. Yearly got 9th? What a pooper! I'm gonna blame this race all on Yearly. Look at that, no assist. Ah, I wasn't a pussy in this race, though. Let uh, me clear on that. Alright, so Elliot Sadler wins, Tony Stewart second, Jimmy Johnson third, Greg Beth fourth, Dale Jr. fifth, Bobby Bynes sixth, Dale Knight Jr. seventh, Jeff Gordon eighth, JJ Yearly ninth, and I finished eighteenth. Did anyone fall out of the race in this race? Nope. Just Dave Blaine finishing last. I tell you what, after me and uh, JJ Yearly had that incident, I, I, I gave up. I, I just cared less for the rest of the race. I would say, when I spun out on the back straightaway, that was not on purpose. I just couldn't control the car. Great, and then Bristol should be fun. I don't know how far back. I mean, mm. So, obviously, I'm going to do some gambles at Bristol. Alright, come on now. Point standings. Yeah, look at that. So Jeff Gordon is the points leader by 25 points over Elliott Sadler. Dale and RG in third points, 154 back. Uh, I dropped to fourth points, 181 back. And Jimmy Johnson routes to the top five points, 195 points back. And Bobby Labine routes to the top 10 points, 597 back. And outside the top 15, uh, Kevin Harvick is... Uh, Bobby Labine holds the chase cutoff. Kevin Harvick is uh, um, 35 points behind... Bobby Labonte and uh, Martin Truex Jr. 845 back. So let's see from 195. No, wait, no, 181 back to uh, 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 597. That is uh, 416 points. Yeah, so I am uh, 416 points ahead of the chase cutoff. So I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape. Even if I finish last, no, I can't do that. Never mind. Even if I have three more bad finishes until the chase it's not going to really matter so next race is going to be at bristol Motor speedway in bristol tennessee for race 24 36 for the run of the sharpie 500 in bristol tennessee with three races to go before the chase i will see you at bristol